So we finally get to Newton's third law. Okay, so we've worked through Newton's first and second laws. The third is saying that for two bodies, A and B, in contact with each other, the force exerted by A on B is equal in magnitude but opposite in direction to the force exerted by B on A. So what this really means, and we, we've kind of come across this already through the idea of a normal reaction force. So the idea that, you know, if, if you're sat down on a chair and you're, so here is the chair, okay? If you're sat down on the chair, then you are pressing down with your weight on the chair, okay? But the reason why you're not uh, moving, you're not falling through the chair, is that there is this normal reaction force pushing you back up. Okay, so we've dealt with this problem before in the sense that if we've got a box on a table, there is the weight that works vertically downwards, and we've got the normal reaction force working upwards. And if the uh, box is st static and staying where it is, okay, um, and it's not accelerating up or down, then the weight and the reaction force will be equal in magnitude, but opposite in direction. Okay? So it's the same idea if I was pressing against this wall, for example. Okay? I'm pressing against the wall, but the wall is also pushing back against me with an equal and opposite force. Okay? That's the idea of Newton's third law. Um, so what we then go on to start using and looking at and considering um, is the uh, problems that involve uh, connected particles, tension, and thrust. Okay? So that's where we're going to be going with this coming into the next few videos.